Software Spring Presence How to use today and date it if in Google Sheets Hi folks greetings welcome to this two part tutorial on today and date it if functions Part 1 How to use today Here is an introduction to today Today returns today's date in month day and year format Let's look at the format of the today function formula. Note that the today function does not require any attribute. All right, here's an objective of using the today function. To get the current date. Moving forward, let's type the today function formula. First, type equal to T O D Select today. Press enter. Okay, here is the date of recording of this video. Part 2. How to use dated if. Let's look at an introduction to dated if. Dated if returns the number of years, months, or days between an end date and a start date. Here's the dated if function formula. Here's an example. Start date is the first date of the date range. End date is the last date of the date range. Unit takes one of the following values. Y. Use it to get the whole years between two dates. M. Use it to get the whole months between two dates. D. Use it to get the whole days between two dates. I will talk about the other unit values, YM, MD, and YD, in the next video. Going forward, here is an objective of using the data to function. To calculate number of years, months, or days, between an investment date, and current date. This is the investment date. Alright, let's get today's date, using the today function. As before, type equal to. DOD, select today, and press enter. Okay, we are now all set to type the dative function formula. First, type equal to, D, A, T. Select dative. For start date, click this cell. Type comma. For end date, click this cell. Type comma. For unit, type Y between quotes. Press enter. There you go. This is the number of years, between the investment date, and current date. Before we copy this formula to these cells, to get the number of months and days between the two dates, we have to make the address of these cells in the formula absolute. Click this cell, and press enter. Click before letter D, and press F4. The dollar sign indicates the address is absolute. Click before letter E, and repeat the steps for the second address. Press enter. Copy the formula to these cells. Click this cell, press enter, and change the unit to M, to get the number of months between the two dates. Click this cell, repeat the steps, but change the unit to D, to get the number of days. It has been 2 years, or 25 months, or 767 days, between the investment date and current date. That's it folks. Thank you for watching this video. 
please subscribe to this channel.